Okay, well let's let's hook the scope up and see what it looks like. They happen to have sent me a Rigel demonstration board, so that's what I'll be using today. And it's got a bunch of outputs here. One of them is a sine wave. Let's just connect this up, and you can see that uh, obviously we're not triggering on anything yet, but uh, it does have an auto button. We can push auto, and it should find it. And it does finds it fine. And uh, notice that it's centered, and that the the number one uh, channel position indicator is down here at the bottom. Well, obviously it's uh, this is running uh, above ground. All the signals are positive. So if we wanted to center that, one nice feature is almost every one of these buttons has a center uh, has a has a, a button involved with it. And when you push it, it usually centers that control or turns it to zero. So we'll push that, and voila, it moves the uh, channel one up to uh, the center position of the screen. Well, that's really nice. Triggering, of course, does the same thing. We're triggered. So uh, here we're looking at a uh, sine wave of some uh, frequency. And let's just say we wanted to measure that. Well, we can push the measure button. We can push the counter tell it which uh, signal we want that to count on, and it's saying it's about 500 kilohertz. We can also display everything as a snapshot, and uh, so we have about one volt maximum, and peak to peak is 1.02. Uh, let's see, it's, it gives you the average, the amplitude, the fall, rise, time, duty cycle, everything like that. So that's uh, a nice feature.